Welcome aboard, Cosmonauts. My name is Cosmic Oceans. I'm back with Dream Daddy. And today it's time to date Matt. <coughs> ba -da, da 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 We've gone through this. Let's message him. Never give up. Never remember? I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. Hey man, great getting to see you. We should definitely hang out soon. Free later. A minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Hey dude, I would be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Sound Garden. Wanna come? I think for a moment. What's the Sound Garden? It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? While I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. Pop is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk rock band out of Canada should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever. Let's go out of a com let's get out of our comfort zone. Wait, no. Ah, I log off dad book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? <coughs> I mentally backtracked decades through memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. Oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god, other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to <coughs> and mentally envision all of their airbrushed vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? <coughs> okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Huh. Anyway, what's up? Huh? Amanda, how do I be cool? Hmm. Let me put a pot on a pot of coffee first. This is going to be a long night. No, seriously. Matt invited me to a concert, and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. <sighs> yeah... You have. You took me to one when I was 12, remember? I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh, oh god, I tried so hard to forget. <laughs> the one where I had to camp out with you in line so you could get a good spot and then you cried and screamed the whole time? Dad. It was so much more than that and I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed. You seemed pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your trapper keeper. <laughs> Yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. <laughs> Does my daughter draw smut? Anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you remember that just bringing a big glittery sign and cry a lot and you'll fit right in. Well, it's in a smaller place and I think Matt mentions that they're a punk band? Like DIY gutter punk? Thrash? Straight edge? Come on, Dad. Give me something here to work with. Are they post-punk? Proto-punk? C-punk? Jeremy Punk? What's Jeremy yeah. Punk? I made that one up to see if I could get away with it. Huh. They're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, he said they're Canadian? Punk? Huh. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk mm. scene. Well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. It becomes so much more than just counterculture. Re it became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. What I'm trying to say is just enjoy the music. That's it. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's not like you're gonna jump into the mosh pit or anything. Well, that's comforting. And if a strange dude is, uh, uh and if a strange dude in a set your goals hoodie offers to buy offers you offers to buy you merch, don't accept it and definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterward when he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. What? Oh. Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. <laughs> I show up to the coffee spoon at eight uh, in what I hope is concert appropriate attire. I see Matt out front locking the door to the shop. Hey, hey you made it. Ready for tonight? Yeah. Uh... Uh, 
<laughs> what? New? Short for venue? You know, where you see the dope certs? Are you just making this stuff up right now? Oh man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since pet rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and scream cries? Yeah. I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out for my car from the last one. Stay strong. But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is going to be awesome. Just hang with me, Sam, and you'll be good. The scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Hey. Shoot. What is... scene? <laughs> Matt lets out a tiny laugh. Hey. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but it can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. <laughs> Matt looks off into middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking never again. That's confusing. Hey. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. Wow, it's loud. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My waning youth is showing. I'm suddenly aware of my mortality. <laughs> when were the good years of my life? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait. Is C-Punk actually a genre? Matt, you made it. Huh? A younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. Mm. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me, shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Me too. Huh. I'm like a small animal, loud noises and large crowds, uh, large groups of people will frighten me. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? Hey. That's my favorite thing to do. A couple other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yell hey as well. Matt waves and hugs a couple people. <laughs> he seems really in his element here. Matt turns his attention back to me. I'm so afraid of all these people. Oh. Let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of older concert a couple of the older concert goers hang out. Uh, a couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks at him. Hey. Seems like you're a popular guy out oh. here. Ah, uh, yeah, I go to a lot of shows. This is a really cool spot. Yeah, yeah. But it's times like these when I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. Yeah, yeah. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are and that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. God damn it, where do I put my tongue? Hey. See? <laughs> Well, I've known you for more than five minutes and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. We grab our drinks. This scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listen to it. <laughs> huh, let's check out the merch. Hey. Oh, who's this person? Matt and I walk over to a small booth in the in a corner of the room where a crusty looking teenager guards a selection of shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. Step on up, get your merch here. Got t-shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts and accountments, whatever. A discerning concert goer of considerable taste might want you. I gesture to myself, my face flushing red. Yes, you, you look like a fellow who knows their music. How about a fine 12 inch long playing vinyl record made and distributed by Pup Canada's premier punk rock outfit. Tally ho, good sir. Please stop yelling at me. I'm already kinda- I'm already kinda on edge because this is an unfamiliar place and I don't know anybody here and I would appreciate it if you could stop singling me out and I'm sure you're cool but it's making me a little uncomfortable. The kid immediately hops down off the chair. You got it, sorry about that. I just got really excited about salesmanship. I can't relate, but I appreciate your enthusiasm nonetheless. Hey, Pablo. Your friend looked lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? Hey. Day by day, my man. They do the thing where they high-five, but also turn it into a hug. Hey. Your mom doing better? She's still single if you want to be my dad. I could <laughs> make that connection. 
and have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your bud? That's Sam. Thought I'd bring out a concert pal. Pablo leans closer to Matt. Is Sam cool? Matt eyes me. I eye him back. He cracks a smile. Yeah. Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. My dude. I'm not sure what to say, but given the courtesy two pats on the back as is customary in our society for people you don't know super well but still want to be friendly to. Pablo's a total card. Kid plays the hell out of a bass. Yeah, man. Uh, when are we starting our witch house band? Yeah, sounds great. You know I'm out of the game. It's a shame. You know, Vacant Vale would have slayed. <laughs> I'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band shirts. We got the sickest logo. While Matt and Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Uh -oh. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's get a spot up close. Hey. Matt and I walk over to the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks onto stage uh, and pick up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a mandolin slung behind his back. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, we're Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. My name's Daniel. Let's start the show. Oh no, these guys. What? Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most... One, two, three, four, Ugh. Uh, cacophonous? Yeah, cacophonous noise I've ever heard. What is this? Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Thanks! I put the earplugs in and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they sure do seem to be having fun. I guess that's what really matters. Jesus, did that cellist just break his bow in half? I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the songs, and I think one of the band members' job is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So you got to do a lot of concerts out here, huh? Hmm. What? Oh, drop it. He can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. Okay, no, this is impossible. How have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? Eventually, eventually, the set ends, but only after the drummer sprains his ankle during the saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the act, so he was carried off stage crying. <laughs> Matt and I both pull our earplugs out. Man, that was something. I promise Pup is much better. I just have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get answers to. Oh yeah, he sprains his ankle at every show. Uh, they were being real about that. Hey. Let's grab another beer. Matt and I work our way out of the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded in here. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spots, but there are so many people I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-somethings. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped here in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? What if... Suddenly a hand reaches out and grabs me. It's Matt. Almost lost you, buddy. Whew, I got really nervous for a second there. Hey. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. Aw. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Yeah, Pup really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and, a, and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music, uh, just the same way that you are, that's magic. I suddenly have the urge to pee, cursing this tiny dad bladder. I've never heard it put that way, that's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Hey. Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I squeezed my way out of the crowd toward the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. Uh, she had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which was actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. I make it to the restroom finally, but there's one of those single-person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap. The people that were initially milling around the venue 
all crowded up against the stage as Pup plays their first song. How am I ever gonna find Matt now? Uh, stage one. I'm sure Matt will be up there too. I gotta find him before I get trampled. Find that dash. How do I? How do I? How do I? Oh God! This is the part of the game where you should have been hearing a licensed tune. <laughs> we worked really hard to lock it down for you. Oh man! We even got permission to whitelist the song for YouTube and Twitch. Oh. But their systems are seriously broken. Ah, what a bitch! Damn. <laughs> you're listening to right now don't you think it's better than risking content id yeah i to guess you streamers and let's players i have <laughs> one decree please check out the band called pop and their song dvp dvp okay i'll DVP. do it that's right the band's called pop and their song called dvp Okay, alright. The all song right. is great and the video is tight. Yes, take it from me. Where do it where's it's Matt? Like footage of NES and SNES games with the lyrics added into them. It's really cool, but it's kind of hard to explain right now, but <laughs> you should really go check it out. Really okay, alright, cool, cool, I will. Um so great. We added the song that you're listening to right now. Uh, I like the song. Don't it's good. Thanks. It's better than risking content ID. To you streamers and let's players, I have one decree. I did try. Please check out the band called Pup and their song D. After searching a decision, I realize it's impossible. I'll never be able to find Matt in the sea of subculture. I guess I'll just camp out here. I watch Pup really set by my lonesome. Out next to a bunch of twenty hip twenty somethings, I can tell they're judging my clothes, and I want so badly to grab them by the shoulders and explain the usefulness of utility pockets. But I try to focus on the concert. Man, I wish Matt were here. Oh my God! The show finally ends, and I wait for Matt outside. After a minute or two, Matt spots me. Dude, you sure are sight for sore eyes. Sorry, I lost you back there. It's all good. Wasn't it a great show? Totally. Would have been more fun with you though. Oh. Well, next time we'll just have to hold hands the whole time so we don't lose each other, huh? I laugh. Am I blushing? Hey. You hungry? Starving. Hey. Follow me. Okay. At least the date's not over yet. Matt and I walk into a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner oh. booth. So there I am in the pit trying to explain to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo, but he's already seen red. Not from the tattoo, which coincidentally was red. He's lumbering towards me, and there's nowhere to go. It's the end for me, right? Then out of nowhere, I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms, and just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. You should have seen the look on his face. Bought him a beer afterward, and we were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. Glad you guys worked it out. Hey, yeah. yeah, man, just, just goes to show you that Punk's not dead. It just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. So how did you get to see all of those amazing concerts? Hey. Oh, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but we, uh, but it got us to travel all around the states. Whoa, that is cool. Yeah, I mean, we were poor and we had to scrape a lot uh, together just to survive, but I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. <coughs> but yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of those people to show music. Like, this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. Rad. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. Oh. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own, and you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's really nice of you. Hey. Thanks, us single parents just really have to look out for each other. How's, uh, Carmen Sita? Carmen Sita. She says she wants to learn the drums. Oh boy. Huh. It'll be loud, and I'll need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. 
I'm suddenly very grateful that all my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. Mm. I'm trying to be supportive of uh, Carmen Cita's rebellious phase, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against hey. together. Like what? Fashion? Big budget remakes of foreign films? Reading subtitles isn't even that hard. I think we just have to strive as a society to be okay with reading subtitles. <laughs> he and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy diner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting Whoa. the spot. Man. Hey. Being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk oh. to. Yeah, I just... I don't know. Hmm. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. Matt gets nervous talking to people, but he's so cool. Me too. I've never really considered myself an extrovert, and I never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation, always. Hey. Like, that's me. That's my life. Ah, uh, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to, you know that? I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective houses. Hey. And I was a blast, man. Loved it. Although, I'm probably gonna feel it in my knees in the morning. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. Mm. I, uh, don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. Hey. Alright, I'm calling it quits for the night. Stay cool, man. He called me cool. Matt called me cool. I walk into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out from her room. Mm. Hey, Pops, how was the show? Matt thinks I'm cool. Mm. You don't say. Manda Panda. Matt thinks I'm cool. Yeah. Blind leading the blind, huh? Wow, I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable. Alright, I'm heading the hay, Pops. I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. Don't eat too close to your bedtime. I don't think I did very well on that date, to be honest. Yeah, man. That was some great stuff up there. Yeah, not that great. Not that great. <laughs> Welcome. You've got dads. <laughs> I've got dads. Okay. Uh, thanks for coming on this journey with me, Cosmonauts. Uh, next up is a date with Craig. So I'll see you in the next part. Bye. <laughs>